Okay, in this video, I want to talk about writing Markdown in the Pulsar text editor. So this is a Markdown document. It's a blog post I'm writing for my students uh, in my web development class. It's a fairly short post here, just kind of telling them what we did for the day and showing some source code of an example for a project that they will be working on. And then there's some other links here. I've just gotten that, rid of that link for this video. And then there's a link to Emmett here, okay? Now, I don't really need preview, but if I wanna preview what the document looks like, what I can do quickly is Control-Shift-M and I can toggle the preview. If I want to get rid of the, get rid of the preview, I can do Control-Shift-M to get rid of it. Okay, so Control-Shift-M. If you forget this keyboard shortcut, you can simply open the command palette and look for Markdown Preview. Okay, so, and we've got a nice preview here. Another thing I can do, and this is available via a package that you can install, I'll show you which one in a moment, is I can create a table of contents. And so I believe that's Control-Alt-C. Yes, the keyboard shortcut is Control-Alt-C here. I can also look that up in the command palette. So if I go control shift P to bring up the command palette, I can do markdown and I see markdown TOC, create is control alt C. If I want to delete it, it's control alt R. If I want to update, it's control alt U. They have a bunch of different ones I can do here. Now it should be noted when you're using this package, which I'm gonna show you in a moment, uh, that the links here, won't actually click down. So normally if you had a document here and let's say this was, we converted it to HTML and this will work, you'll click and it'll go down in the document. And it does work when you convert it to HTML. But in the Markdown preview that comes shipped with Pulsar, uh, it, it isn't a, a feature that is available. And you know, Pulsar extends upon the history of Atom. When you had this extension for Atom, it wasn't available as well. So it's it's a feature that hasn't been added. Whether it'll be added in the future, who knows? But it's a nice preview here. Now, what I would like to do, or what I like to do, is I like to open up a terminal here, and then I'll just you know change into the directory. So this is what Unkert web slash blog, I think, no, sorry, Unkert web slash blog, uh, and then slash like markdown blogs, right? And then I would go here and I would run pandoc, okay? So that's what I would do to convert it to HTML. But with this markdown preview here, what you can do is you can right click and you can copy it as HTML or you could save it as HTML. So if you have like a boilerplate you want to copy it into, I would click copy as HTML, and then you don't even have to use Pandoc, and you would just copy it into a document. And that might be an advantage if you don't want to have to install Pandoc to convert Markdown to HTML. Okay, so that's a little bit about the preview. Now let's show you where you can get this plugin. So if I bring up the settings with control comma, you'll see, and I look at the packages, you'll see that I've installed this markdown toc. That is the package that you want. I've installed it already. If you haven't installed it, you just go to install here and you would search for markdown toc. And it's gonna come up and give you the option to install it. I only have the option to uninstall and disable because it is installed. So that's pretty much it for writing with Markdown. Um, if you have some features that you know about in Pulsar that would add to the Markdown writing experience, please leave those in the comments. I'd love to hear them. And if you like this video, please give it a share and a like, and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.